Hey girls, what time is it? Yeah! We're gonna go to the Spiral Jetty. If you look here on the map, it's up here. This is the Tremont Supercharger in Utah, and that is the Great Salt Lake. The uh, car is charged up to 98%, and it estimates we'll, we will arrive with 37%. This is a uh, destination that none of us have ever been to before, but we've lived in Utah for a long time, and so we thought we'd go check it out. update we're almost to our destination and uh, you can see here that we're right passing the promontory area and over here to the side is the Golden Spike Historic National Monument Visitor Center. And the road we're going on goes this way and we're about to, yep, because pavement ends and so this is where the gravel road begins. Spiral Jetty, 15.7 miles is what that sign just said. this uh, ridge back here, uh, promontory, there's a, a, a ridge right there, a mountain ridge we went over. Um, you'll notice up here it says just 3G, so the uh, cell reception here is uh, not great, which is not surprising. Also, there are cows directly um, like on the road or just to the side of the road, so I go right. So, so keep that in mind and don't hit cows if you come out here. And uh, that's about it worth mentioning. It's 60 degrees out right now, uh, and the battery is currently at 40%. Oh, looking at the trip here, uh, it had originally estimated that we'd depart with 38%, or sorry, we would arrive with 38% when we departed. Um, it's now at 40, and it estimates 37. Girls, what do you think of this adventure so far? Any thoughts? Nope, they're done. They want to get out of the car. We'll be getting out soon, okay? One word of uh, a note here. Uh, you'll see here that it estimates uh, well, that we've arrived, actually, and the navigation has stopped. So there's a, a wooden corral back here that it pretty much just stops thinking there's a road, but there's definitely still a road. Um, so we're gonna continue on down this road here and then loop around, and then this white marker here is where the actual jetty is. So um, the, the Google navigation that Tesla uses does not think this is a, a road apparently, or at least not a passable road. So we'll see how much farther this goes. The energy consumption at this point is projecting 74 more miles, which will be enough to get us to Tremont. We're currently pulling 314 watt hours per mile on average over the last 30 miles. Out that way is where the lake bed is, if you can see that but uh, it's all dried up, the water's still far away. Down there is a, um, the rotten remains of a pier from the 1920s when they were doing oil drilling down here. Definitely a lot of cars down there. 
All right, we've arrived as close as we can get anyway. The traffic is insane. There's just so many people here looking to also get out and I'll get out and see the views. I'll show you here. So this is that pier when we first started pulling up here. And then here is where all the people are in the distance and the spiral jetty is just out of sight. And I'll show you now with the drone. We had to park before the traffic jam, and that was good. And now we're just having to walk a lot longer. Clara, are you excited? Uh-huh. Do you see the view behind? Do you see the view over there? Looks really cool, huh? There are far more gnats here than I expected. I guess I didn't really know what to expect, but there's a lot of gnats. <laughs> And a lot, a lot more people than I expected as well. Uh, normally that would be lake water area, but it's, I guess, low right now. And there are just people all the way across there, out into the edge of the water. We are off the beaten path a little bit, aren't we, Clara? This is what we're walking on. Lots and lots of old lava rocks. Yeah. Hey girls, are you having a fun hike? <laughs> we went off the trail. <laughs> we definitely couldn't have wished for better weather. It is fantastic right now. Just a slight cool breeze, the sun is warm, the sky is completely clear and sunny, and everyone else likes the weather too. <laughs> Look at this crowd. I don't know how well you can see, but there's a lot of people here. And those are just the people on the jetty. If we pan this way, scattered across the horizon is just a bunch more people just exploring this area. We've gotten to the middle. Lydia. <laughs> Take your shoes off. Yeah, don't go where it's murky because you can't see what's under the water.
What did you find? Water. What? Oh, yeah. I got book. I'll go wash it off. Is this really cool, Lucy? Yeah, yeah. And it's really cool. It's really cool? Lucy, what are you doing? Is your foot a clam? Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. Are you having fun, Clara? Yeah. Lydia, did you have fun playing in the water? Yeah? yeah. Good. We're heading back to the car now. Yeah, that is your shadow. <laughs> Good climbing up the hill, girls. Hey girls, did you have fun? Yeah. You love it? Yeah. What did the salt do to your skin? Yeah. Did it make it really dry and tight? Just put it down. Oh, they're done talking. They have suckers in their mouths. Okay, get your buckle on. All right, the car is super dirty. We're gonna get out of here. Oh, something I forgot to mention is when we arrived, we are at 36% battery, and that is what it is okay. still at. Also, there is virtually no cell data out here, so we have to just drive for a while before we can navigate. <laughs> to the uh, Tremont and Utah Supercharger. See if it can calculate the route. And the data just dropped down to 3G. It's less, looking less likely. Oh, it looks like it worked. All right, so it estimates that we'll arrive at Tremont with 17% battery. And uh, the spiral jetty is right down here, so we've just barely gotten away from that. This is the Golden Spike National Monument. I thought we'd check it out. Well, I can't say I'm surprised, but the visitor center is closed. Oh well, we'll have to come back some other time, huh Clara? Yeah, let's do it. Here's some visitor's information. What did you find, Lydia? Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's outlining that there were not precise instruments and that they were trying to meet up with the other company for the railroad. This is some railroad tracks right here. Oh, okay, so there is the last railroad tie. Lucy, huh? do you know what that golden railroad tie was there for? No. That is where, when they were building the railroad tracks across the entire United States, that is where the people coming from the west and the people coming from the east met. And that's where they came together, and then we had a railroad track that went across the entire country. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? We're now approaching Tree Mountain. If you look down here, it is 10 minutes away or seven miles. Supercharger on the right side of the screen. Looks like we'll be arriving with 17% on the battery. The uh, watt hours per mile has been uh, 297 for the last 30 miles, so it's estimating we can go another 37 miles. 
All right, we're just arriving at the Tremont Supercharger. <laughs> we picked up some food here from the Wendy's across the street. And right here are the superchargers. All right, we arrived with 17% uh, on the battery. Let's get her plugged in. And my, my, is our car dirty. It's about 30 miles of gravel road looks like. All right, let's see what the charge rate looks like. It is currently climbing over 100 kilowatts, which is good, and that's about what I'd expect. It's currently at 85 kilowatts and is estimating an hour and 10 minutes to get back to 100%. But we don't need to get to 100%, we just need to get home. And so I will navigate us to a place that's closer to where we live, and it is estimating that we need to be here for 25 minutes. And so uh, we'll be here for about that long, and then we'll continue on our way and get home. Here's another example of what 30 miles or so of gravel road will do. It just builds up. All that dust is just built up from the drive we just did. We got the kids some food. So we'll just be here for about half an hour and then we'll head on home. The car is at 60%. It's charging at 47 kilowatts. It estimates five minutes remaining. Um, but we'll be getting to our destination with around 12% battery at this point, so we're gonna go ahead and take off. All right, the car is at 64%, so let's get it unplugged. The car estimates an hour and a half to get home from here, or 102 miles. Girls, did you have a great dinner? Yeah. All right, let's go home. What did you? Daddy, look what I got. Oh, is that a giraffe? Yeah, two giraffes. Cool. What did you think of our adventure today? It was great. Exciting. We see that. Clara, we Clara, see what did you think of our adventure that? today? It looked so silly. <laughs> what about you, Lydia? No comment. Mm -hmm. Lydia, what did you think? That's the reaction I was expecting. What do you think, girls? Are you asleep? <laughs> Was that a great adventure? Yeah. Lydia did fall asleep, huh? Yeah. You had a good nap. What I do you think? Too. Are you tired? We got home just in time for bedtime, yeah, huh? You got sand and salt between your toes, huh? Yeah, that and that why I mean you need to take a bath. Right, yep. I don't I don't need to take it out my bath. Alright, so looking here at the Tesla map. We uh, this was our watt hours per mile over the last thirty miles, so three hundred twenty one. And looking at the battery we arrived with fifteen percent.
And now let's look at the Teslify stats. If you're not familiar with Teslify, it's a service that you can purchase for $5 a month and connect it to your Tesla account. And then through the API, it's able to download a bunch of data about the car. Now it does rely on cell phone reception. So you'll see that come up here. Uh, looking here at the top of the screen, you can see the car is currently charging. So there are some details along here about that. Um, and so looking at that day that we went to the spiral jetty, uh, the car, I had charged it to about 90% the night before. Um, and, and so this is that next morning I started at 91 and ended at 98% before we unplugged it to head on the trip. Uh, this first segment of drive right here, we drove for 36 minutes and then we needed to stop, uh, for a restroom, uh, for one of the children. So that's what this is. Uh, and then we continued on our way. Uh, and then this particular drive it shows that we drove all the way out to the spiral jetty and then up here to the Tremont supercharger in one drive. And that's just simply because, like I said, the cell data cut out while we were out at the jetty. So it didn't know that we had stopped. So it just counted that as all one drive. So this five hours of driving, you can disregard that. That's incorrect. But the number of miles is probably correct, I believe. Um, and so we drove at 82, almost 83% efficiency on the way up. And that sounds about right. And used up 63% of the battery on that whole segment, which that sounds about right as well. Uh, this right here is where we stopped to get food at Wendy's across the street from the supercharger and then drove over to the supercharger. And so you can pretty much ignore that. And then hotel parking lots. This is where we charged at that uh, Tremont supercharger. We were there for 34 minutes. Um, we charged from 17 to 64% and then we had headed home. Uh, down here, this is where we then went home, which was almost an hour and a half drive away and we drove at 82% efficiency on the way home. When we got home, I plugged in the car, of course, and it charged for nearly six hours and to go from 15 to 80% battery and some other stats along here about that. Uh, looking at the map for the day, uh, we drove up I-15 here uh, and then up in this section, uh, we took this side route. Yeah, this is highway uh, 83, it looks like and then it goes out here and gets on the gravel road and the car, because of cell data um, li being limited, it was struggling to know where we were exactly. So this purple line is not very accurate, but down here you can see the spiral jetty uh, is indicated there. So this is the road that we drove on to get to that. And then driving all the way back, we uh, went to this Tremont supercharger here and then back down the freeway. If you're interested in using Teslify for yourself, they do have a two week trial. And if you use my referral code down below, they will give you an additional two weeks. So you'll get a total of a month uh, for free if you use that referral code. All right, that was a great adventure. I think it was tons of fun. Uh, it was definitely a lot of driving for not a, like a really long-term destination, right? We spent um, probably close to four and a half hours of driving round trip for an hour there playing. So uh, not great payoff there on the destination, but it's such a remote place that if you don't make it your end destination or your goal, you'll probably never go there um, because there's, it's not on the way to anything. Uh, but it was a lot of fun and the girls um, you know, were able to explore and experience some new things like salty water, which dries out your skin a lot. <laughs> and uh, the car performed great. It's super dirty, as you've seen. Uh, I'm going to go get it washed here shortly. Uh, but it uh, served uh, our purposes just fine, even though we were going down a gravel road for you know, 15 miles or so. And so with that, we'll, we'll see you in the next video.